We interrupt our regular programming. This is a global emergency. Important instructions will follow. Alrighty. Um, so as everyone in the Coaster community just saw, Orion's point of view and their grand opening was just released. Orion is a new roller coaster that was constructed over at one of Canada's Wonderland sister parks and also the third Giga to be constructed in the Cedar Fair chain in a recent developments. Leviathan at Canada's Wonderland was the original Bulger and Mabillard Giga coaster to be constructed and is what many people call the test concept for the others to come. Fury 325 over at another sister park, Carowinds, was developed three years later smashing the records and unveiling an outstanding design. Fast forward to August 2019, and enthusiast dreams of a giga coaster at Kings Island were finally granted when Cedar Fair announced Orion, standing at 287 feet with a drop of 300 feet and speeds of 147 kilometers an hour. This brought on many debates of whether it was a giga and some fans being disappointed in the size and length of the coaster. Orion cost Cedar Fair roughly 30 million USD and is in large part due to the cost of steel at the time. From my personal observations at the time and to date, I personally feel like many enthusiasts hyped themselves up for a much larger project and in doing so, led them to jump to being upset versus analyzing the elements and the ride's potential. For me, I could instantly tell this was as if Fury 325 and Leviathan were meshed into a new coaster. It took what was an amazing on Leviathan and added Fury's flair and did so in a more compact design to Fury. The coaster community remained divided on this issue for pretty much the entire offseason and continuing. Fast forward to now and Kings Island has released both some absolutely stunning shots of the completed ride along with an on-ride point of view. Also, on top of that, many people have gotten to visit Kings Island and ride Orion themselves and have provided some absolutely amazing footage of Area 72 and Orion itself. I'm going to discuss my observations and opinions of the theming, Midway, and all the aspects of Orion to the best of my ability. Thanks to these amazing people, I'm able to show you some absolutely stunning renderings of the overall package and bring it somewhat to life. So a huge thank you to Dustin, Brennan, Brandon, and Neek. More detailed description will be down below with the names down below as well in the description. Let's start with the theming and the midway of Orion at Kings Island. As you can see, Orion is themed to the park's new Area 72 and features the latest prototype vehicle developed by the Project X initiative. Scientists are in a race against time to develop technology capable of weaving transport vehicles through the coming meteor storm and traveling to a new planet within the Orion constellation. For the program to be successful, it needs volunteers to help with the testing. Orion was built next to Flight of Fear, which is also located in Area 72 and receives some tender love and care to complement Orion nicely. Along with these two roller coasters in Area 72, Meteor Canteen will be located there serving Broutwurst with sauerkraut, Italian with pepper and onions, or hot dog topper off with smoker house chili or cheese sauce, or a simple basket of afterburner fries. Area 72 is themed to a military base with hangars and a lot of concrete. Personally, I love the buildings, but so far the little to none greenery is a bit off-putting, but once the final project is revealed to the public in a couple days, I'll make a final conclusion to the theming. I personally would love to see a lot of rock work along Orion, I feel like it would complement that space theme, and I would like to see a little bit more theming. Otherwise, with the recent footage that did come out, I'm really impressed with the theming in the queue line for Orion. I think they really blew it out of the water. Along with analyzing the theming of Area 72 and Orion, one must look at the lighting package. Orion features what looks like a blue LED lighting package up Orion's lift handrail 
and a changing color display of floodlights that add to the Orion space theme. It is one of the prettiest lift hill displays I've ever seen, and I'd say it's the best lighting package on a Giga Coaster, in my opinion, to date. If you're a photographer, I can only imagine how excited you are to get those specific shots with the station theming and angled upwards toward the lift hill at nighttime. For those that don't know yet, Orion will feature both a custom soundtrack by IMAScore, whom have done soundtracks for Alton Towers and are a fan favorite. Personally, this is like the icing on the cake for Orion. You have a beautiful looking coaster, what is one of the most brilliant soundtracks and stunning light packages I have ever seen. Just imagine that ambiance of waiting in line or in the station at night with a slight breeze and the soundtrack playing as you glance up and see that absolutely gorgeous lighting package and the faint screams of excitement in the distance. Let's discuss the trains. Another very divided topic in the coaster community. My personal opinion is that they are my least favorite part of Orion. I would even further state that they are the ugliest train design out of the Cedar Fair Giga coasters. Looking like a brand deal of toothpaste, the Orion trains for me don't illustrate the theme that the park was after with the latest prototype vehicle. It would have been cool to see a more futuristic artistic rendering with more space vehicle type look on its lead cars. For me, if it had that last attention to detail, it would be a perfect combo for the best themed Giga coaster. Curious to hear from you down below in the comments section on your opinions of the theming for Orion. This brings us to the coaster itself, the main attraction of Area 72. Orion, as we previously mentioned, features a hangar military styled theme and has somewhat of a pre-show before you climb up the stairs to the loading platform. It was wildly rumored that Orion would feature bins moving above the station's loading area to hold guest belongings, but it appears they've opted out and have gone with lockers instead. Orion features a lift hill with an amazing lighting package that complements your chain lift climb to 287 feet tall. Orion was built in a valley with varying terrain. This is what creates that 300 foot drop with a top speed of 91 miles per hour and further complements the various elements to come. Orion's second element standing at 174 feet tall is a wave turn styled element that actually appears to pack a much bigger punch than even I was expecting. This leads to a reverse treble clef element standing at 202 feet tall, and yet again, the pacing in the footage out so far remains extremely well paced. Standing at 56 feet tall, the speed hill appears to pack the biggest punch on the ride, as the upstop wheels really do their job and hold the train in place as it soars through this close to the ground airtime hill, giving the greatest amount of airtime on the ride. Orion then brings you into a well-paced, massive airtime hill standing at 147 feet tall. Again, the terrain that Orion utilizes really seems to complement this coaster really well as the pacing seems to remain unaffected during the ride cycle. Then comes the ampersand, which some at Kings Island have called one of the best or underrated elements with the speeds in which you enter this element. The ampersand stands at 125 feet tall and leads into the two remaining airtime moments standing at 90 feet tall, followed by 83 feet tall. And from what I can tell from the footage and the reviews coming out, that last airtime hill also packs an, a massive amount of airtime. We're even hearing ejector being used. Like its sister coasters, Orion features a very long brake run which helps it run three trains without a mid-course brake run and allows the train to gradually come to a stop. Orion really is amazing, element after amazing element, taking what Leviathan and Fury did amazing and turned it into Orion. The pacing on Orion is absolutely amazing so far from what we can see. Based off of the on-ride point of views and the off-ride footage that has come out by Kings Island and other various YouTubers, it looks like it's an absolutely stunning and amazing coaster. Based off of the footage, what is your favorite element on Orion? With all this said and done, the history of Orion and Kings Island is quite an interesting one. From rumors surrounding a Giga coaster for many years, Giga drawn into the snow, driving enthusiasts absolutely crazy, and the Beast Reborn 
conspiracy theories, King's Island has been quite the rumor mill for quite some time. Early blueprints for Orion leaked, and there was quite the debate in the coaster community on whether the blueprints were legitimate. Slowly, everyone ended up figuring out they were, and both excitement and anger came out of the shadows. Some, like myself, were really excited about the 7th Giga Coaster, and some felt gypped and confused by the short layout. With the cost of steel and a history of roller coasters not boosting attendance too much at Kings Island, many argued this was a very amazing addition for them. It was unfortunate timing as Kings Island announced the closure of Vortex, their beloved aero coaster at the park, just after seeing Firehawk removed for Orion. With the removal of Vortex, some are already looking to what's next. What do you honestly think could be next for Kings Island? Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch our video on Orion at Kings Island. Hopefully, you're able to get out there safely sometime soon and experience it and review it for yourself. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to drop a like. If you have any roller coaster or theme park that you would like us to review or go in depth about, their future editions, past editions, biggest mistakes or anything, leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully you have an amazing weekend. Thanks again. Bye.